Hello everybody and welcome to video 5 of unit 1. In this video we're going to talk about calculations with scientific notation. Before this video I will have showed you how to input your scientific notation into your calculator. All of our scientific notation calculations will primarily be done with your calculator and then you'll need to figure out sig figs. So that's what this video is going to help you do. When you are doing multiplication and division of scientific notation, you're going to follow the sig fig rules of multiplication and division. You're only going to look at the coefficient for the number of sig figs. Um, my conversion, for some reason, did not show my exponents. So I'm going to rewrite these with the correct exponents so not to confuse you. And you can put parentheses around your scientific notation so you know that it's a scientific notation. You don't have to. Over here, this would be times 10 to the 5th. Whatever program I am using to convert these into PowerPoint uh, slides are not putting my exponents as exponents. First thing you're going to do whenever you're doing a calculation with scientific notation is you're going to go through and just put it into your calculator. So we're going to take 5.0 and again, remember you're going to hit that EE or EXP button to represent your times 10 and then hit your exponent. Then you're going to hit your times button and then enter your 4.00 times 10 to the 5th again using your EE button and then hit equal. And you should get a number that is 2000000000000. Now, when you get your calculator answer, you're going to write down everything the calculator gives you. Then you're going to go through and put it into scientific notation. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10. This is going to be 2.0000 times 10 to the 10th. Now, this is not a correct sig fig answer because we are multiplying. We look at our coefficients. Our coefficient here is 5.0. That's two sig figs. Our coefficient here is 4.00, that's 3. Our smallest value is 2. Therefore, we're going to do 1, 2. Our answer then will be 2.0 times 10 to the 10th. When you're doing calculator or when you're doing calculations with scientific notation, get your calculator answer. Convert to scientific notation. And then figure out sig figs. That's what you should be doing for each multiplication and division uh, problem. Okay, when we do a problem with addition and subtraction, with scientific notation. We need to follow the sig fig rules again. We're going to look at the front coefficient. We're going to go by fewest number of decimal places in our coefficient. But before you can compare coefficients, you will have to put both numbers to the same exponent. So let me go through the steps with you. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go through with your calculator and input the problem. 5.0 EE to the fourth plus 4.00 EE to the fifth, hit your equal sign, you're going to get 450,000 as your calculator answer. Then you're going to put this into scientific notation. One, two, three, four, five. This would be 4.50000 times 10. To the fifth. Now, 
In order to determine how many decimal places we should keep in this addition problem, we need to go back to our original scientific notation values and we may need to change them a little bit. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to convert the lower exponent number into the higher exponent. So right now, our 4.00 times 10 to the 5th is our higher exponent. We need to convert the 5.0 times 10 to the 4th into a times 10 to the 5th. We cannot evaluate decimal places if they are not at the same exponent. So times 10 to the 5th, to get to a higher exponent, you will always move your decimal place however many times to get to that higher um, exponent, you will move that decimal place to the left. So here we're going to move 0 0.50, that gives us times 10 to the 5th. Now we're going to look at the 0 0.50 coefficient and the 4.00 coefficient. How many decimal places here? Two decimal places. Remember, adding and subtracting, we go by places. Here, we have two decimal places. So our answer must have two. One, two. The answer here would be 4.50 times 10 to the fifth. I would make sure that you follow the procedure. Get the calculator answer, write that down, convert to scientific notation, then go back to your original numbers. You can only evaluate the number of decimal places if both numbers are at the same exponent. Convert the lower exponent into the higher exponent. Then evaluate your number of decimal places and rewrite your final answer with appropriate number of decimal places. All right, let's do a few more examples. Here we have an addition problem. First thing we're going to do is plug it into our calculator. When we do that, we're going to get an answer of 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 0. What we need to do is convert this into scientific notation once we have our calculator answer. So we are going to do 2.2234 2, 0, 0 times 10 to the 7th. Now, once we have it in scientific notation, we need to look. We are dealing with addition, so we need to put our numbers into the same exponent to evaluate number of decimal places. On here, when you look, we have a 7 and we have a 4. 7 is the highest, so we're going to take our 4 to the 7th power. To do that, we need to move this over and every time we move it, we increase our exponent. So this would be to the fifth, to the sixth, to the seventh. So we need to add two zeros in front. Once we add the two zeros in front, we can see that we have two decimal places here, and we have one, two, three, four, five decimal places here. So we're only going to keep two decimal places. Therefore, the correct answer for this would be 2.22 2 times 10 to the 7th. So according to this, based on the accuracy or the least precise amount, we are going to notice that this is too small of a value to show up um, in our answer. The next one's multiplication. Again, you're going to take a moment, put it into your calculator. You're going to put the 6.02 EE to the 23 times 4.135 EE to the negative 21. And that's going to equal 2563.5. We need to put that into scientific notation. One, two, three. So our number is going to be 2.5637 times 10 to the third. 
Now we need to evaluate the number of sig figs. We're multiplying, so sig figs. Here we have three sig figs. Here we have four sig figs. So our answer can only have three. One, two, three. Our number will cut off here at the six. The three will not round it up. Our final answer is 2.56 times 10 to the third. Then finally, we have another addition. This time, we have negative exponents, so 1.124 EE, negative 4, plus 8.8 .8 EE to the negative 3, you're going to get point zero zero eight nine one two four. We need to put that into scientific notation of eight point nine one two four times ten, and we went over one, two, three spots. So we're going to have three, and this is a, sm a number smaller than one, so it would be negative three. Now go back and look. We have a negative 4 exponent and a negative 3. Which exponent is smaller? Negative 3 is smaller than negative 4. So we're going to change our negative 4 into an exponent of negative 3, moving it one place to the left. We get 1, 1, 2, 4 times 10 to the negative 4. Oh, I'm sorry, negative 3 because we've changed it. Four decimal places here. only one decimal place here. So our answer can only have one decimal place. Our answer to this would be 8.9 times 10 to the negative 3. Always make sure get your calculator answer Put it back in scientific notation. Then you determine whether you're looking at sig figs for multiplication or division or decimal places for adding and subtracting. If you're adding and subtracting, you need to make sure your exponents have the same value. And then you can determine the number of exponents in your final answer. I mean, you can determine the number of places or sig figs in your final answer. Okay, here are some practice problems I would like you to do. I've gone through and rewritten the values with the exponents correctly shown. Write down the problems in your notebook. Try them on your own. Bring an answer to class. We'll review them together. And I will take any questions about uh, calculations with scientific notation. See you then.